Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. I am doing this video for a couple reasons. One, to show off a base that resembles a restaurant symbolized by the letters CFK, or maybe it was a different order. And also because I just hit 1500 subscribers. Yay! So I'm going to show you the portal address for the Jumble of Letters restaurant base. Um, and this of course is Boyd Gaming's creation again. He's really creative and made three other bases that I showed cased. Whoops. That was wrong. Wrong symbol. goes bird sun bird bird sun diplo hole whale hexagon person moon and whale. Let me make sure I got that right. There we go. Now I want to apologize for the last um, subscriber milestone video I did. In that video, I kept saying subscriber uh, subscriptions, that I had a thousand subscriptions, and somebody commented on that video saying that I should have said subscribers, not subscriptions. So I apologize, I did not mean to dehumanize all of you and call you subscriptions instead of subscribers. I now have 1500 subscribers. You are all people. Got to use people first language, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll try to say subscribers from now on instead of subscriptions. And it sounds like Boyd Gaming might be here at his base. It's 15 minutes away, so I'll have to use the Exocraft. To get there. So it's not so far. So now it's only four minutes. That's good. So yeah, it's pretty exciting that I hit 1,500 subscribers. It might be... I mean, it might have been helped that I've been doing some more variety on my channel. Uh, I did... Bound, I've been doing a little Terraria, and uh, Nom Nom Galaxy. Uh, now those video, none of those videos have been super popular, but they may have got in some other people that are interested in other games that have subscribed, and um, I want people to understand that my channel is always going to be about indie games. It's never going to be AAA games. People have requested that I play. Um, uh, Star Wars Battlegrounds, I am not going to do that. I'm not playing any licensed games. I'm not playing PvP games like some people want me to play Fortnite, but I have no interest in PvP. I don't want, I don't want to be about games that are about people fighting each other, games where people get mad and rage at each other because they're competing and all that. I want my channel to be about games made by small indie companies. I don't I don't see the need to support like, you know, big name companies. Those guys don't need any help. They've got lots of money for advertising. They've got you know, all the resources and connections and stuff they need to sell their product. I don't want to I don't want to 
you know, be here to support them. I want to be here to support small indie games because I think that that the indie games are the future of video gaming because they're the ones that are innovating. They're the ones that are creating new ideas. The video game market a lot is turning into what the movie market is like. They keep copying off of past successes. They make remakes, sequels, um, games that are about the same as other games. But indie games aren't. Indie games are about innovating, using, using new technology, new techniques, um, new ideas, unique um, things that we've never had before. But yeah, that's what my channel is about. But here I am at the Jumble of Letters restaurant base. And here's a message station from Boyd. He, sells, he says, welcome to confusing acronym guys. And of course, you know all. You all know I'm joking. I'm. Um, <laughs> I don't think there's much danger of getting copyrighted for talking about what his base is built after. But I just, <laughs> it's kind of a joke for me. Um, so I'm going to leave him a message. Um, I said, tastes like chicken, <laughs> as if there would be something wrong with that. Oh, and here's Boyd. Hi, Boyd. I can't hear you talking or anything. I heard some stuff from your mic earlier, but I don't hear anything now. So, welcome to... And take your order, please. As usual, he's got a nice... Uh, back area that looks like it could be somewhere where they would make food using beds for an assembly line. Makes me wonder if he, if Boyd has worked at fast food before, if he knows what it looks like back here, or if he's just really observant. It's also a real nice planet. Oh, so is this a bathroom or just like a entryway to the back? I don't know. He's got stairs here. This is in creative mode. I don't know if I said that. So if you want to visit, you have to be on PlayStation 4, Euclid Galaxy, and in creative mode. And then use that portal address and you can come here. Sounds like Boyd is trying to get his mic working. I hear something, but... Of course, you all won't hear it if he does say anything, but... Yep. So up here, he's got he's got a bit of a farm, even though we're in creative mode. He did that he did that on his snake base too. His snake base was in creative mode, but he had a bit of a farm. I'm not sure why, but maybe it's just for looks, like to say that he's making food up here or something. I don't know. Still cool. Wow, he was able to get. He was able to get a save point indoors. That's usually pretty difficult. Usually it won't let you build tech indoors. Maybe he built it on the... No, I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, looks pretty cool up here. I should. Yep, I hear you, Boyd. Get my units. Of course, I'm in creative mode, so units doesn't matter. Oh, he's got a race. I'm going to have to try the race. Hopefully the race works. Yay, let's do the race. I haven't done a race in ages. 
well. Uh, McLizard. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> These message models get in the way. Why do they have collision on the message modules? That's annoying. And I guess it makes sense, but they're so small, you think they'd let us just go past them easily. But yeah, uh, I did a race, well, I didn't do a race in a video recently, but um, McLizard built a race base that we might have as the location for our holiday party, but maybe not, because he's working on another thing that I'm going to do a video about tomorrow that we might do for our holiday party location. Uh oh. Mm, this is a tricky race. Gotta avoid the caves. Oh man. Oh, I wish you could fly over it and get it, but you have to go inside the bubble. How am I gonna get out of here now? There we go. Yep, I hear you, Boyd. I'm doing your race. Uh, you, you put a marker underground? Ah. Oh, great. I'm going to get terrible time now. How do I get to the marker? Oh, seriously? This tiny little hole leads to it? Now where do I go? Oh, good. There's a way through. Ugh. You really have to learn this race before you can do it well. I can just barely hear you, Boyd. I don't hear you too well. Oh, it's for the Amino Hub Olympics. That's cool. Oops. That's why you made it so challenging, probably. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. He, he said he moved the message module. And he said that, uh, yeah, he made this for the Amino Hub Olympics which I'm probably not going to get a gold medal for this race. <laughs> I'm going pretty slow. There we go. Yeah, he said it's quite a big track. He's right. Two minutes, three minutes. <laughs> pretty bad time. Getting close to done, I think. Pretty nice planet. Ooh. Yep. Yay, 214 seconds. Personal best. <laughs> it's my only time. Okay, <laughs> he's going to try to beat my time. Ooh, that's a cool creature. Okay, so this has been Boyd Gaming's restaurant base. Maybe some of you can decipher what those letters mean. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you... Oh, sorry, that's my old outro. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining for me for a day, and I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac.